Hi, Mrs. Coyle's first graders. It's Mrs. Prophet. I'm Carter's mom, and I am going to show you guys how we're going to make our snowman, and we are going to name him with a silly name. So everyone has one of these papers, and you also have one of these papers. And this paper is going to be our directions and the clues to how we're going to create our snowman. So in order to do this, you're going to need uh, a few crayons. So if you have your crayons nearby, you'll need those, and then you'll also need your pencil. So I have my supplies right next to me, and the first thing that we need to do is name our snowman. So I'm going to pull out my pencil to write my snowman's name. And the way you figure out your snowman's name is by looking at our first name code and our last name code. So first, think about the letter that your first name starts with. So for example, Carter starts with the letter C. So he would look for letter C and it says Jack Frost. So for his paper where it says this is, he's going to first write Jack Frost. After you figure out your first name, you need to figure out your snowman's last name. So we're looking down at the bottom where it says last name, and you need to think of the month that your birthday takes place in. So for example, Carter's birthday is in August. So I'm gonna look for August, and it says numb toes. So I'm going to write down his last name, numb toes. So Carter's silly snowman name is Jack Frost Numb Toes. If you don't know what numb means, it's when you're so cold that you can't feel anymore. Your fingers start to get tingly. Um, so that's a really silly first and last name. So if we need a moment to pause the video, we can do that, Mrs. Coyle, so that all the children can get their name for their snowman written on their paper. All right, next is the fun part. We're gonna create what our snowman should look like based on a glyph. A glyph is kind of like a code. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna start with the eyes and we're gonna look at these clues and it'll tell us how the eyes are going to work. So for example, it says to look at the number of siblings and that's your brothers and sisters. So if you have zero siblings, if you have no brothers or sisters, you are going to make your snowman have green eyes. I'm sorry, my thing's so blurry here. It's not focusing. If you have one sibling, you're going to give your snowman brown eyes. And if you have two or more siblings, you're going to give your snowman blue eyes. So I'm just going to kind of stick with Carter as my example here. And he has four siblings. He has lots of them. So we're going to give this snowman blue eyes. Next, we're gonna go down to the nose, and this is the number of syllables in your name. So you're gonna have to clap out your name, like Rebecca, Carter, Bodie, Sarah, Genevieve. So count how many um, syllables you have in your name, and Car has two syllables. If you have one syllable like Max or John, you are going to make a leaf nose. So your nose should be kind of like a pointed oval for the shape of a leaf. If you have two syllables, you're going to make a carrot nose. And if you have three or more syllables in your name, you're going to make a candy nose. And you can use whatever colors you want for this. You can do whatever piece of candy. Um, but Carter has a pretty traditional carrot nose here, so I'm going to make this kind of sideways triangle for his nose. Next on our list is the smile. So this one goes by your favorite school subject, and your choices are reading, math, or science. So you can decide whichever one you want it to be. And so reading says candy cane striped smile. So you would do a red and white striped smile. If math is your favorite, 
you would do a shape smile. So maybe a diamond or an oval or a half circle. If it's science, you would do a rainbow smile. I feel like Carter would probably choose um, science. He really likes um, ores and uh, minerals, rocks, learning about that kind of stuff. So I feel like science would be his choice. So I'm going to do kind of an overlapping rainbow smile here. You have a few minutes to make yours. Okay, next is our snowman's hat. This one is a yummy one. It's your favorite dessert. Your choices are cake, ice cream, or cookies. It's really hard to choose between those, isn't it? So if your favorite is cake, you're gonna make your snowman have a black hat. If your favorite is ice cream, you're gonna make a baseball hat. And if your favorite is cookies, you're gonna make a pointed party hat. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go with ice cream, I think. So my snowman's going to have a baseball hat on. All righty. Next, we're gonna create our snowman scarf. And by this one, it's going to be determined by how you get to school. So you either take the bus, you walk, or you come in a car, you're drove to school. So if you drive to school, if your parents put you in the car and bring you to school, you're gonna have a green scarf. If you take the bus, you're gonna have a yellow scarf. And if you walk or ride your bike, you're going to have an orange scarf. So Carter rides the bus, so he's going to have a yellow scarf. So I'm going to kind of put a rectangle across his neck here. And scarves usually have those parts that hang down like this. Maybe some fringe on the end here. So there's my snowman scarf. All right, we have three more parts to add to our snowman. The next one is the buttons. And this is gonna be determined by how many pets you have. So if you have zero pets, you're gonna put two green buttons. If you have one pet, you're gonna put three green buttons, or three blue buttons, sorry, three blue buttons. If you have two or more pets, you're gonna put four red buttons. Carter has three cats, so he's going to get four red buttons. He has his cats, Hermione, Sushi, and Maggie. They're all girls and they love Carter. Okay, now we're gonna create our snowman's arms and this is an easy one. If you're a boy, you're gonna do one thing. If you're a girl, you're gonna do the other. So girls, you are going to draw stick arms with mittens on the hands. If you're a boy, you're just gonna do stick arms. So Carter is a boy, so we're gonna do stick arms like this. And then I'm gonna put one on this side like this. Okay, and our very last thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a background for our snowman. And this is based on your favorite winter activity. Your choices are sledding, building a snowman, or having a snowball fight. So if your favorite is sledding, you're going to make a sunny day in the background of your snowman. If your favorite is building a snowman, it's going to be nighttime, so you're going to make it dark. If your favorite is a snowball fight, it's going to be a snowy day. So maybe you can put some snowflakes around your snowman. You may go ahead and use some time now to create the background for your snowman. I hope you enjoyed using the snowman glyph to create your buddy, like Jack Frost Numb Toes here. 
And it was really fun working with you guys. I hope you have an awesome holiday break and everyone stay safe and um, enjoy the rest of your day with Mrs. Coyle. Bye guys.